All right, we're back with a new indicator spotlight. It's been a while since the last one. We've been busy here with the zero lag oscillator, updating that for an Trader 8. So that released earlier this week. Uh, you can swing by our premium indicator section for more information on that update. But uh, for the indicator spotlight, this uh, time we're looking at the relative ranges indicator, sort of a follow-up uh, to the last uh, spotlight that we did, which was on relative volume. The relative ranges indicator uses the same architecture as relative volume, but the logic is applied to ranges. And it does make a lot of sense to use these two indicators together. And so part of uh, this presentation will be on how to do that. All right, so what we have here is a um, average true range, a standard indicator. Every day you see a steady increase here in uh, ranges and in volatility at the start of the European session, going into the US session and fall off after the regular close in the US. And um, part of what's happening, of course, is that uh, we're comparing uh, volatility of the overnight to the European and the US session. Of course, the look back here includes the previous session. So no wonder that we see the, the fall off here when you're comparing this to this and you're comparing this to this, then you will have these uh, regular and very predictable volatility increases and, and fall off. So instead, uh, you can consider using the relative ranges indicator because that compares uh, the ranges at a specific time of day instead of comparing with the previous uh, X bars. So you compare the overnight with the overnight, you compare the European session uh, with the European as well as the US session. So the default uh, reference period here is 40 days. And uh, as we see here, the relative range indicator is telling us that um, uh, we have a uh, down move here on uh, above uh, average range. And uh, what we see here is uh, the average volatility of the last uh, 40 business days. And uh, these color plots here is uh, the dark blue is uh, showing us that it's most of the time over 120% of uh, the normal ranges, uh, whereas the cyan bars here, it's uh, average between 120 and 80% of the average. And these few red bars here are telling us that uh, it's below average, below 80%. You can, of course, uh, choose these uh, thresholds as well as the, the color plots according to your own liking in the indicator dialog box. All right, so how does this uh, fit in with the uh, relative uh, volume? As I mentioned in the intro, both indicators use the same architecture and therefore the relative volume indicator, it's measuring uh, the volume of a uh, fixed uh, period against the average volume over the same period during the preceding end days. And so you can use this information to validate setups, breakouts, and reversals. Uh, here we see a, a spike in volume in the European session on average uh, range here. But then later on, we see a huge range here and a huge volume spike for this uh, time period. And what that means is that uh, volume is in fact pushing price here. And later on here in this uh, retracement, we see a contraction in ranges and contraction in, in volume. And that tells us that traders are not really willing to close out their positions here because they think the momentum of the uh, primary trend will continue, which is what we see here, uh, increasing volume and ranges again. Volume is pushing price upwards here. As for uh, counter trend strategies, uh, you look for situations uh, when the accumulated relative range and volume is uh, below average. And uh, you'll want to look for a reversal pattern like this one here. This is what we call a churn bar. We've just seen a huge move exhaustion bar here. And then this uh, much smaller range, but on comparatively high volume, so the exhaustion bar here has a huge range. And then we see a large volume on this little small bar here. And um, 
that's basically telling us that large players are in fact stepping in on this, buying into the sell-off and building up a uh, position. So volume is, is not moving price in this, uh, this scenario here. So you're looking for a exhaustion bar, a reversal pattern, and then uh, take the entry once the high of this uh, reversal uh, pattern is uh, taken out. Of course, we don't really need the uh, relative range indicator here to tell us that this is a very small bar compared to what's been going on earlier here. But uh, very important then to have this volume information here. And that's when the market is uh, likely to reverse. So this month's uh, free download from Lizard Indicators library is the relative ranges indicator. And you will find that by swinging by the volume analysis category. In total, we have uh, some 80 plus indicators. It's available for a one-time payment of 150 bucks. As for the free download, you just follow the links to the relative ranges in the library and uh, you will uh, eventually find the the download there. Next up uh, here at uh, Lizard in Indicators is another update to the premium section. The uh, auction bars uh, indicator is currently being updated to Nino Trader 8. Uh, we've uh, added a lot of new features to the uh, zero lag oscillator update and uh, we'll do the same for the auction bars uh, as well. Of course, both in a relative volume and relative range scenarios that we've talked about here today, uh, they are very powerful complements to both of these premium indicators. The uh, auction bars uh, look for reversal patterns and the zero lag oscillator identifies trend retracements, trend confirmation, and uh, continuation patterns. All right, so with that, I'm going to wrap up the presentation here. Appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Please leave me a comment uh, on the video below to give me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up or pass it on to a trading buddy on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or via email. Thanks a lot for checking in. I look forward to uh, hearing from you soon. In the meantime, take care and bye-bye.